Hello students, welcome back. Before going over to the next question, I'd like to request you to go through the playlist featuring the previous year's solved physics numerical board questions. I've shared the link of the playlist in the description box. I'm sure it will help you a lot while preparing for your exams. Please do check out all the questions and make sure that you practice all of them before going to the exam. The next question which I have taken today is a circuit diagram based question from electricity chapter. Looking at the diagram, children might feel that it's difficult to solve these types of questions. But today I am going to teach you a very easy method after which you will be able to solve any circuit diagram based question very easily. The method which you will be following today as I call it is the OTC method. What is it? It's open the circuit. It's called the open the circuit method. So let's start. So here you see is a circuit diagram. The question is consider the following circuit diagram. If R1 equal to R2 equal to R3 equal to R4 equal to R5 is 3 ohm and then find the equivalent resistance of the circuit. So here is a circuit in which there are 5 resistors and these all have a value of 3 ohm. So there are 5 equivalent resistors each having a resistance value of 3 ohm and they are connected in this way. We have to find out the equivalent resistance of this circuit. So let's start by making this complex looking diagram a bit easier. We will first open this circuit. Now the circuit we will open from here. So this is the positive terminal. This is the negative terminal. Just pull apart the positive end and the negative end but in the opposite direction. So when we open the circuit, we'll get a very simplified diagram of this circuit. So let's start. So if I stretch the positive terminal to the left, so what do I get? So let this be my positive terminal. Now from positive terminal, you see one wire is coming and at this place, it's just bending, right? So if I remove this bending, it will be a straight wire. So a straight wire comes from positive terminal to the ammeter. So from here, one goes to the ammeter over here. Next, on the other end of the ammeter is connected to a switch. So this is our switch, right? The other end of the switch, again you see the wire is bending over here and it's connected to one end of the resistor R1. So this end of the switch is connected to a resistor R1, right? So this is my resistor. Now the other end of R1 you see is here. Let this be point X. So here this is point X. Now at this point X if you observe now here you see till now there was only one wire coming from the point X. There are two wires which are going. This is one wire and this is one wire. That means that here there is a branching. From the point X, there are two wires which are branching. So here, let me do two branches over here, right? So one end goes to this one branch goes to R2. So this is R2, right? Here, the other wire is connected to R4. So this is R, R4, right? Now, this R2, you see one end of this R2 is here. It's towards the point X. Right? It's point towards the point X. The other end of R2, you see this one. So this is the other end over here. Now you see here the wire is again bending. There is no branching. There is a bending. Right? So this is one straight wire only which is only bent. So if I straighten that, you see this one wire is going and it is connected in series with R3. So here I have my R3. If I straighten this wire, R2 and R3 are in series. So this is R3. Now the other end of R3 is this one. So here is the R3's other end. Now come to R4. You see one wire here is connected to R4, this one. The other end of R4 is connected at this point. Here let's name this point Y. So at the point Y, the other end of R4 and the other end of R3, they are joining. So R3 and R4 they are joining at a point which is Y, this point. Okay. 
Now from this point Y, you see there is another wire which is joined that is of R5, right? So here is my R5. Now R5's other end is connected to the negative terminal of the battery. So other end of R5 is my negative terminal. So now I have opened this circuit. Now when I have opened this circuit, I find a very easy diagram of this complex looking diagram, isn't it? So now it's very clear from here that R2 and R3 are in series. The equivalent resistance of these two will be in parallel with R4, the equivalent resistance of this will be in series with R1 and R5, right? So now it's easy. So whenever you get this type of circuit, just pull apart the positive and the negative terminal. You will get to see a very simplified version of this complex looking diagram and then we can easily solve it. So first, whenever you get a branched circuit like this, first solve the part which is branched. And in the branch, if there are any resistance which are in series, solve them first and then go to the parallel part of the branch. So let's solve this two first, R2 and R3 first. So let's name it R dash. Now R dash will be R2 plus R3. R2 is given 3 ohm and R3 is given 3 ohm. So the total is 6 ohm. So my R dash which is this, the equivalent resistance of R2 and R3, R dash comes to be 6 ohm, right? Now R dash and R4, they are in parallel with each other. So let me solve this part next and I will name it R double dash. In R double dash, the resistors are in parallel with each other. So I write 1 by R double dash is 1 by R4 plus 1 by R dash. So R4 is 3 and R dash I got as 6. So LCM is 6, 2 plus 1 which is 3 by 6 which is 1 by 2. So R double dash comes to be 2 ohm, right? So the equivalent resistance of this circuit in parallel comes to be 2 ohm. Now R double dash R1 and R5, they are in series with each other. Now, the total resistance of this circuit or the equivalent resistance of this circuit will be R1 plus R double dash plus R5. R1 is given as 3 ohm. R double dash we got over here as 2 ohm. And R5 is given as 3 ohm. So, R equivalent, if I write here, R equivalent is 8 ohm. So, this is the answer to the question which we wanted. So the equivalent resistance comes to be 8 ohm. So, I hope you have understood now how to solve the circuit diagram based questions easily. If you like my videos, please like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.